liquid and stuff, it just at some point becomes a norm and you just kind of adjust and adapt to whatever it is. Does Dukes, I guess, higher up, whether it's Nina or the president, do they take you guys' opinions into account saying, hey, we, we don't want to have to travel all the way oh, across the country? I mean, is that something I mean, they take into account? That's above my pay grade. I'm not <laughs> in those meetings, so I don't know. Uh, but, you know, they are. I will say this about our higher ups and stuff. They are very, very open and transparent about what's going on and communicating and talking, you know, mainly to John and stuff. But they also will, you know, it's not a secret or anything, you know, they will communicate. So they are great at that. Sorry, you've already been asked about me, but yep. uh, did you have a relationship with him beforehand? And if not, how is the person, you know, doing with this? Yeah, I had known him. Uh, you know, you run into people. Uh, on the trail and, and out recruiting and he's always one of those people who have great just a great energy about him and you kind of just kind of gravitate towards him um, and he's brought that here and he's been amazing to have these first couple of weeks and being here for months and he you know he's a great asset uh, to us so far so he's been really good. You are an outsider, he's an outsider, yeah. like you know did he have a conversation with you about like kind of how things were going as you were kind of acclimating yourself last year? Yeah. I, yeah, and I think it's not more so it wasn't about that. It's just any time you make a move and make a jump to a new job, you somewhere that you like and you enjoy, you want to make sure, like, you know, how will it change your daily life? How does this guy like to operate? You know, what is, you know, the expectations and everything like that. So we talked and conversated more about that uh, than anything else. And I just kind of expressed to him that one thing, this is a special place in the fans, but one thing that makes this place really special is the people. Uh, and that starts with John and, and Coach Carowell and even Will Avery. Like he's, he was with us last year, but also he's ingrained in this, you know, program too. And then everybody, you know, from Coach K down, um, you know, people you still see around, how they make you just feel comfortable. Uh, that's the biggest thing. You don't feel like an outsider. How is having the extra coach making you guys' job easier as far as dealing with the players and, and kind of uh, implementing uh, different programs for players to develop? Well, the biggest thing is just like when you go out and you leave and you're not out of town, you know you have somebody here and somebody around that can really help uh, kind of keep things going. Uh, where before, you know, that wasn't a thing. You're really relying on managers or maybe a GA, but now you have two extra coaches who really, you know, are really coaches. They're just not recruiting coaches maybe. Uh, so that's just the biggest thing is you have two extra people that can really look at it. And Will uh, was great last year. Uh, his knowledge of the game, being a former lottery pick and stuff like that, uh, you know, he's been the places everybody wants to go as a college athlete. Uh, so that's been a great thing for him and with our players. As a head coach, when you found out, like, what were the feelings of you know, being able to get that uh, promotion after a year? Uh, it was great. You know, it was great. It was unexpected. I didn't expect it. it was something we had not talked about. And John kind of called me in the office and told me his plan and what he wanted to do. Um, and, you know, really the biggest thing is just trying to continue to help him as much along with the players as much as I can, as much as possible, and just making sure, you know, we keep going towards winning the national championship. You know, that's the ultimate goal every year, especially for us. And that's our thought process, being at Duke, that's something we should be able to try to compete for every year. Did you feel like you really – grew into your role more as the season went on. Just watching you on the sideline, like by the end of the year, you were standing up, barking out, man. Uh, it seemed like you really kind of felt fully engaged. I don't know if that's my observation, but did you feel it too? Uh, well, it, it, yes. I mean, it's just really, the one thing I will say about John is that for him to be a first-year head coach, uh, he wasn't worried about, you know, he just worried about winning. Sometimes you want everybody to know, I'm coaching, I'm the head coach now, and I'm doing this. He wanted to do whatever it was to win. Uh, and sometimes he would tell me, Jay, you just tell him. Or he'll tell Sewell, you know, just call out the player, you do it. Um, but we also know that he is in charge and he can trump that. And he did a lot too, uh, you know, so that that's a good thing too. But he gave us that confidence of being able to be with the team and coach them. Was it cool for you to be close? I mean, you're not, not from Duke, but you're from here, yeah. right? Was that, what was that like to see? It is. It's been cool because, you know, you get the random stories from people at the grocery store or, you know, we had someone who worked our uh, – stats and works the table who my first game showed me a stat book for my dad's game when he played in Cameron. Uh, he had kept it because he did the stats that night too. Uh, so just little things like that has been really cool. Being able to see my family. My grandfather's 102. Um, so being able to go and see him from time to time has been great too. So just those little things really add on to the job. Oh man. Yeah, he's got him. He's, he's got him. So, you know, it's been good. 
No, uh, it hasn't changed. Like everything I do day to day, I think the biggest thing that has changed is like uh, it's helping John with some of the stuff in the program and just managing people. You know, if it's having meetings with the sports performance team and stuff like that, just alleviating some of the stuff he has to do because as a head coach uh, and being in this, you know, being around just here but other places as well, it's a lot more than just coaching the team. Uh, so trying to eliminate some of that a lot more so he can just kind of coach the team is really what I'm trying to do. Something with Coach K, he always said that he wanted his assistants to have aspirations to yep. be a head coach one yep. day. I think John has said he wants sort of the same thing. Yep. How does he encourage that while being so young and also striking the balance that you were just talking about? Of, yep. Yes, he is a head coach, but also being you know probably a little more collaborative than a lot of people think. Uh, he's, he's really been great at that. John is ahead of his years uh, in the sense of helping people try to navigate stuff. You know, he has a great network of people and him just kind of, and he had interviewed for a lot of jobs and stuff, so him just passing down that knowledge of you need to do this, this helped me when I was interviewing for this job, and these people were some of the, you know, search firms and stuff like that. Uh, so really just kind of giving me a game plan of how to attack it and what to look for and what to be prepared for in the interview process and stuff like that. So he's done a great job.